The first thing you'll see when you open MuseScore 2.0 is the new Start Center. Here you can create a new score, open an existing score, or connect to the online community at MuseScore.com. Let's create a new score. Enter the titles and credits first. Click the Next button. And here we can either use one of the templates that are included, or we can just simply choose our own instruments. To select instruments, first click on the Instrument Family, and then select the instrument you want. Click the Add button. If you want to move an instrument up or down, just simply click on it and press the up and down button. You can also add a staff or a linked staff, which can be very useful for adding things like tab staffs. Now select a key signature. You can also set the tempo here. And then finally, Enter time signatures, pickup measures, and the number of measures you want for your piece. Now remember, you can always change anything we've just done at any time. Now click Finish. You can always return to the Start Center. Notice the shortcut or the instrument window to make changes, add instruments, or remove instruments. Our score is pretty basic right now. You'll notice that the measure spacing is a little unusual. Don't worry about that as it will change automatically as we enter notes and other things. But you might want to add brackets and adjust the bar lines. To add a bracket, we just go over here to the palette and we select our bracket and drag it onto the first staff. Then double click it and drag down until it covers all of the staves. You can add more than one bracket so I'll add one here to our guitar and do the same thing. Use the same method to extend bar lines. Double click one, drag down. You'll see that it now adjusts all of the one bar lines. If you want to create separate groups, you can do that too. So we now have our basic score and we're ready to enter in our notes.